my experience at Calgary Opera so far has been the usual hugely pleasurable one. It's a wonderful company. Uh, Bob McPhee is fantastic. The staff are very welcoming. Uh, the standards are very high and it's such a great piece and uh, the great hit tunes that are in this opera. And yet there are these incredible moments. Uh, every five minutes or so there's a melody, another melody comes along of such incredible rapture that you have to handle it very carefully like a porcelain uh, uh, plate or, or, or some kind of figurine or something. Um, but the biggest challenge um, overall is the challenge that the Philharmonic have, uh, the Calgary Philharmonic, because it's very difficult for the orchestra. The actual material, the parts that they play off, are not great to read in the first place, but it's very difficult. Um, Congo was a young man with um, incredible energy, so when he wrote this uh, music, he just wrote it in, a, in an extremely passionate outpouring of... Uh, of, um, I was going to say lust, but it's not about lust. It's about it's about unbridled passion. It's 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 much more subtle, um, and uh, lust isn't the word at all. But the music itself uh, has this relentless energy that I think really uh, uh, you only really truly have when you're young. So for me, it's about you know just remembering back to uh, when I was 23, which was like quite a while ago, and uh, just remembering the amount of energy that one had to put into it. And, but now, of course, when you're when you're older, you have the advantage of hindsight, and you know when you need to spend the energy and when you don't need to spend the energy. So it's, I would say it's the energy, the energy to master the notes, the energy to perform the music, and the energy to find the right spots where it really takes off. At the end of the opera, we know that he's reached a place of peace and he's finally put um, his grieving for Mary aside and he sings um, the lead on his own. And the orchestra leavers with um, the lead at the end. It is the most haunting melody imaginable, one of the great operatic passages of the 20th century. And um, even though I've been studying this music and I've conducted this music many times with sopranos in concert, um, when I was uh, playing it through last night, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And it just, it just, t for me, it hits the heart about um, what being a human being is about, about the warmth of relationships and people getting close to each other, people being vulnerable with each other. And then, of course, the sense of loss that you have when you lose um, somebody, whether it's a loved one um, uh, who you've been married to or whether it's a relative or anything like that just the realization that actually music is the one language where, where actually those we've lost still speak to us through music. And I think at the end, people will leave with that incredibly warm thought that actually through music, they can still communicate with those whom they've lost. And that music can be a great consolation and a great warmth in that situation. And they'll also have the earworm, as we call it, of that melody which once heard is never forgotten.